Welcome back. You're tuned into Chartbusters here on CNBC TV 18. Well, next earnings on our radar is Ask Automotive. The company reported a very, very good set of numbers in the past quarter. Margin expansion came about because of higher volumes and cost optimization initiatives. Mr. Kuldeep Singh Rate, who is the CMD of the company, joins us on the show. Hi, sir. Good morning. And first of all, wishing you, your team, a very, very happy Diwali in advance. And hopefully the festivities are as good for the company in the second half of the year as well. Let's get to some numbers. First half of the year, you have grown by mid-20s. Uh, For the year, what kind of a revenue growth are you looking at? Point number one. And when you joined us earlier, you were hinting that at least you'll be seeing a 100 basis point improvement in margins, which is encouraging. You have already clocked 12.2% for the past quarter. What's the outlook for the second half of the year on an average for the year as well? Good morning and uh, first of all, let me wish you, your team and all the viewers of CNBC TV 18 a very, very happy and prosperous Diwali. Well, it has been a very, very good first half as you have seen. But the more important thing is what will happen in the second half. Hmm. And I'm very, very confident that the two-wheeler segment is going to perform very well. And I see a very good picture for the second half also. You want, put a number, as, you want to put a number to far, that, sir? What kind of growth? You know, I'm just looking at the two-wheeler industry. It's seeing a growth of close to oh, around 12%. But your growth yes. is far better than the two-wheeler industry. So for a, for the year, on yes, an average, I, what kind of growth with I, margin? I, I will only say that we'll outperform the industry. I have by always meant we'll outperform uh, at least by 50%. <laughs> All right, by 50%. So if the two-wheeler industry is growing at 12%, you will grow at 18% minimum. That's good enough uh, for us. And, uh, you know, wish you a very happy Diwali as well. There's a lot of cheer in your voice as you speak. Uh, Thank you. And uh, we all, will also maintain the EBITDA margins that we have achieved because now the economies of scale are coming. Right. Our, our Karoli plant is in good operation. Where we had invested about 430 crores. And uh, even the our plant... Uh, that uh, and it has become a bit positive, you know, at uh, forty-five percent capacity utilization. And right. uh, our next plant, we are we are investing two hundred crores in Bangalore, which we started right. only in March. I am happy to announce that in the next quarter we shall be commissioning it, uh, and it will be going on stream. All right, you know, that is uh, incredible because you actually preempted my next question on Karoli itself, which turned a bit positive and as a result of which your margins are at 12.2%. Yes. So when you say you will maintain these margins, uh, I, will you maintain it at 12.2% itself or as Bengaluru comes on stream and you know, no, no, you have the Sirsa plant no, no, as well. No, Bengaluru will come in stream in the next financial. Okay, so by when do we see margins improve once all of these plants are uh, you know, commissioned, including Sirsa plant, which will start contributing to revenue. What yes. is the total potential revenue and margin? Yes, yes, you will see improvement in margins. Further improvement will improve in the next financial year. How much further, sir? Sir, I can't say now at this moment. Depends on what kinds of uh, situation. You must I, be I, having an. I, you I, must I, be I, having I, an aspiration, I, I, sir. I, I'll not hesitate to meet you every quarter. Number one. Lovely. Number two. Number two. That uh, I feel, I am an, I'm an optimist always, and mm. I feel the two-wheeler seg segment which has gone through very rough times for the last four years, it has mm. bounced back. And with so much of the uh, spending on the infrastructure by the government, which, is, which has to happen in the second half, you know, I feel mm. this will have a steady growth, you know, the two-wheeler segment. Okay, so all I, right. I, I see a very good next year also. Got it. All right. Give us a couple of more aspects from the JV. You have it, Eisen Group. I think you all were talking about 100 crores of revenues. As of now, what is it for this year? What kind of contribution will come from there? You know, if you could tell us. And the second part is exports. I think they were around 4.5 to 5% of the total mix. But you're expecting that to improve as well. So for FY25, FY26, how do you see this contribution go up on both these two aspects, JV and exports? Huh? Yes, so on the export front, uh, this year, one of our key customers, you know, they have problems in Europe, so they are in the process of inventory correction. Still, we are growing on the export front, but we feel the next financial year will be exceptionally good because we have the orders uh, from one of the customers uh, for uh, 75 crore orders, uh, extra orders, which we have to start in January this year. So that will right. give a 
big boost uh, to the exports next the next financial year and as far as your you said the joint JV. venture jv with isin uh, we the company has been successfully formed and will be launching the products in the uh, quarter in the next quarter so you'll All see right. that is of the joint venture in the next financial so as promised we'll speak to you in the next quarter for prognosis on how that is uh, panning out and the revenue outlook out there as well mr rati just yes. before we let you know uh, let you go rather this 85% stake that you had has now come down to 78.9% this is the promoter stake that i'm talking about as per the minimum public shareholding norms you have to bring it down to 75% you've done an ofs of 6% already by when do you intend to reduce your stake back to that 75% and in what mode will that be a qip will that be further selling how, how does that plan uh, happen see i i i can't say because our debt levels you know are very much under control they are less than one year of ebitda this year also after doing so much of expansion and our debt equity is continuously reducing you know from the time we listed it was 0.49 in march it was 0.42 and i think we should close at 0.35 or so around that so that's debt levels are under control and there is no hurry to offload the next 4% because still two years time as per say the regulations all right we take that point and you've given us an indication that you're not looking to raise funds into the company because I, your debt I, I, is comfortable I, I don't need the funds uh, which is a good right. part of so, on this wale you know <laughs> yeah wonderful uh, may 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 you never need funds uh, for the business it will be self sustaining and then uh, whatever you have to do you do it by ofs itself we'll keep an eye out on how that plans out wish you a very happy diwali uh, you, you your team much, and uh, uh, all, all all your family members as well we slip into a short you. break <laughs> Thank right. you very much. With that, uh, let's uh, talk about some important programming note. We celebrate 25 years of excellence. That's CMC.